Hello. I have a haul video. Mostly Dow's Kill stuff that I got on sale, but um, I got some random other stuff too. I show skirts I made. Ah, chicken. Of course, this is fabric I showed in another haul. So these are the skirts I made with the fabric. This is that Easter bunny. Kitties. <laughs> and the last skirt is a regular rainbow skirt. Okay. And I apparently just gonna take everything off my couch. I have some other random stuff, it's mostly Walmart, some Amazon. I got these mushroom leggings. Uh, I got these off Amazon. There's a seller called Cow Cow. I've gotten a lot of stuff from in the past. But, yeah. A lot of my little dresses I like to wear in the summer I got from there. Um, got some random fabric from Walmart. This is like that cheap bulk fabric that they have. So... This has a slight, like, glitteriness to it. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up. Just some, like, meshy, lacy type fabric. And then this orange kind of knitted fabric. Which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it was cheap. Um, I got this bra for a dollar. It's like a basic sports bra. That's what I usually wear at work is sports bras. Uh, let's see. Am I going crazy here? Oh wait, no. I'm just losing my mind a little bit. Some more little three packs of underwear for a dollar. This, which is supposed to be like a children's sizing but it's like this sports bra but I got the biggest size I don't know how let's see if that eh. it would be a little tight but it was only a dollar so <laughs> I got these for 50 cents it's a two pack of some slipper socks I put these uh, in my gifting pile Some more fabric stuff, which is just like this, like black netted fabric, which I did have another. Well, I had some plain black fabric, but that was I just made curtain stuff out of those, and then I got some black fabric that was meshy with like blue little flowers, but I left it out in my car. Um, got some more diffuser pads. I found these at a different Walmart for the, my little car diffuser so that works out because I only paid 50 cents for these and their original price was like five bucks and then I got this little Swiss clip thing so it's just a multi-tool it's got it's got nail clippers and and screwdriver and knife scissors like I'm gonna put this on my car keys uh, got some lock de-icer because it was clearanced out so I got it for next year and then um balloons and basically a thigh master <laughs> thigh toner from Aldi it was on clearance so I've been getting just like cheap workout stuff just I want to like start getting some type of habit uh, especially with all this quarantine stuff um I did buy a lot of this stuff before the qu 
quarantine or any kind of stay at home thing. And some of it, well, some of it like this I did. But some of the stuff from Walmart I bought while I was buying other stuff. Because I was trying to finish making my curtains and stuff, so yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Anyway, the Dallas Kill stuff. Um, well, I can start with this dress I'm wearing. This I did get. It's a mushroom dress. The only thing is I need to look through my bras and find one that is like a little lower cut because the way this is made, like, it looks weird if I pull it up because I don't like the line there. I want it like under my boob. So my bra showing there. Otherwise, this dress is really cute. It's just like a baby doll dress. And I think I got it in a 2, 2XL. So it fits pretty well. Um, let show other items. Woo. Seats. I got this little mushroom baby doll tea. It's so cute. My bangs keep like trying to poof up. I just showered so. But here's the little mushroom baby tea. It's so cute. I got these cute little bear like coverall overall dress. What size is this? This is the plus size 1XL. Look at him, he's so cute. Ah. I end up putting the bear over my little mushroom tea. It's super cute and cozy. And there's pockets. Ah. Um, I got this set. Oh, it was, the pieces were sold separately, but holy crap, these pants are long. <laughs> like... I'm a short girl, okay, I'm 5'3", so we're gonna see how these, how these work out for me, but like, uh, they're probably gonna be dragging, like, holy guacamole, I'd have to wear, like, some tall ass boots or something, and then this top is cool, cause it's just like this mesh tie around, the pants, We'll see. These were clearanced out and I had an extra, was an extra 20% off, something like that. So, and I really like the feeling of all their mesh clothes, like they're super like cozy. <laughs> Hi, I'm drowning. <laughs> Holy crap, the legs on these things. Like, they're pretty damn long. They're like, I don't know if I'll be able to show. <laughs> This stripper pole comes in handy for uh, balancing myself here. But like, I mean, I love the way it feels on my leg, but like these would get so dirty so fast. I would literally need like one of my pairs of like platforms that are like six inches tall, just so I'm not dragging on the floor. Uh, hi, welcome to my bra. <laughs> Though this, this, this fits fine. This this is comfortable. I would wear like obviously a different brazier or bustier or something with this uh, tank or something. I'm not like you know self-conscious about my bra being exposed here. We're pretty covered. I'm not that self-conscious anyway about my body. You know it is what it is. As much as I like want to lose weight, try to lose weight, struggle with my weight. I've also sort of learned a certain amount of like accepting my body like where it's at and not getting too bent up out of shape about it because I know like I I find cute clothes for myself I know how to dress myself so anyway <laughs> mini rant or mini whatever I don't know I like this, this but me and my bell sleeves and my bat wings and everything <laughs> This was a two-piece, so this is the skirt. It's pretty trippy on the camera. <laughs> and this is the top. I'm a little worried about this top being too big, almost. 
well, maybe not. It just looks large. It's a one XL, uh, and they're plus sizes. So sometimes their sizing varies a little bit. Okay, I was kind of right about this top. It is a little loose, and I wish the straps were thicker. Just cause like I'm gonna have to wear a bra with it. I don't know. I feel like this optical illusion is not doing me any favors. This is one of those ones where I probably wear pieces separate from each other or have something else with it. I'm not completely sure on this, but I mean like I like the design, but I don't like that it makes this look wider. But I usually have this problem with like bodycon type skirts anyway that I usually like to wear like a longer shirt with them just cause it like, I feel like it enhances the pooch a little too much. It's like, it's not that much, but it just makes it look bigger. I mean, okay, I got a pooch, I know that. But I also got a booty. <laughs> okay, I got the top to this a long time ago. So I finally bought the bottoms, but it, I got them in the 2XL cause it's like their regular, there's like a difference between their plus size 1XL and then their regular extra large. So I thought the regular extra large might be like a little too tight. These are a little, I don't know, like they'll fit. They'll just be like a little loose, maybe. I don't know. It's like strange. <laughs> Cause I think, okay, so this is the 1XL and these, and I got, this set because this is like the newest little mushroom print they have so let me see let me compare the 2xl standard sizing and the yeah these so the 2xl is comparable to the 1xl in the plus sizing so i'm actually like i'll try the mon um to see like i know they'll fit but they might be a little big i don't know I kind of regret like sizing it down a little. The top I know I need a 1XL in because my boobs. <laughs> okay, here's this two piece. If it's, it's, you know, a little, it's not too bad, but I could have gotten away with the regular extra large. Like, I could have gotten away with the, uh, the, uh, regular extra large inside the plus size 1XL. And like these obviously will fit too because the 2XL is comparable to the 1XL. Their extra large is more comparable to like a large extra large depending on the thing. But these are spandexy, so like, yeah. I do love this. This I need in a regular 1XL because of the big boobage. But yeah, I'll give you the whole twirly. It's kind of made out of like a swimmy type spandex material or dance spandex whatever you call it but yeah and this I would figure I, mm, I try to think like either like I need to find like a halter bra or something I can wear with this like it's not supportive enough to wear with a bra that's for sure and get this like sheer like anime style dress the see-through dress I'm like literally just wearing my underwear under it so I'm not gonna like back up <laughs> but yeah it's cool this shirt just says rave it's just cute little long sleeve it was clear and stout I almost forgot about these skirts Yeah, this, I believe this is, yes, it's a regular extra large. It's just like, it's got this chain that's got an easy little clip on it to take on and off. So you can adjust it. And it's like this shiny rainbow. The fact I was even able to zip this up is some sort of miracle, but... That's because, like, I actually put it up on my 
actual waist, which is all the way up here. And uh, a skirt like this, I prefer it to sit a little lower, so like when I lose weight, it would be actually like where I want it to be, because <laughs> like a slight breeze, and you could see my butt cheeks. Um, I do think it's cute. It was. I would recommend taking the chains off before putting it on, though. That made for a confusing mess. It like kept getting caught in the back of the skirt. So yeah, there's that. It is really cute though. I guess I could still wear it with like um, like one of my biker shorts, bike shorts, whatever. Uh, one of my shorter pairs, like some booty shorts or something. I mean, I'm not that like whatever mm. if someone sees my butt. <laughs> self-conscious you know got another skirt this one's actually in the plus size 1xl so this will fit i know will fit a little better than the uh extra large skirt so and this is awesome bbc <sighs> ah! i love it and it fits me perfectly and like i just I love the way PVC looks on me. Ah! And it's got these little like little ringlet things. You could put like a chain on here. I could take the chain off the other skirt and put it on this one. I think it looked cool on this one. And I don't know this little ring here for whatever reason. And the zipper's on the back. Ah! <laughs> I really like this. And like it fits more naturally where like okay see it sits on the same place but the skirt's actually longer than the rainbow one because it's actually like made for that plus size booty <laughs> your girl got bedonk and uh yeah the other skirt wasn't really covering it <laughs> this is one of the delia's items it was clearanced out it's a plus size one xl little top this very like bringing back to the 90s <laughs> And like this one, I mean, I could throw this one over this. This is very easy, breezy. We know how much I like my, my mesh tops. <laughs> I got the saw Care Bear skirt. So I kind of did this as a twofer for there's the rave cropped long sleeve and the Care Bear skirt, which I believe I got the Care Bear in the plus size 1XL. So, 360 that. I got this Sugar Pill mini palette. Like, I always wanted to try the Sugar Pill eyeshadows before, but like, oh my god, they're, like, I know they're good. Um, but they do get pricey, but I thought this would be a good way to try it, plus I got like 25% off, so, and these are all like colors that I like. God, I hate my bangs keep going, whoosh, but yeah, let me do a little swatch through. I know pastels are a little more difficult. But I know these seem to be pretty buildable. That's the first five. I'm not like pressing too hard into it. And and that's the last four ones. The yellow is a little, well, it's a little light. That one. Yellows are hard though, but I don't think it's too bad. I fuss with it a little more later and actually do a look with it because, you know, swatches. Because, you know, swatches can be a little. don't always make the eyeshadow. It building up and like how it blends and stuff has more to do with it. There's this little, like, cow crop top. I know it's goofy, but it's uh, like cute. And I have a skirt that I made a while back that's made out of cow print fabric. So like, 
totally, totally go. <laughs> okay, but this cow top, like, all I can think is Doja Cat. Bitch, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> like, ah, I love it. <laughs> I think it's cute. And like, okay, when I worked at McDonald's, my nickname was Moo. Just because all, it's all because I used the label maker and put Moo on my hat and people started calling me Moo. It's like, okay, it's that easy to have nicknames. A lot of weird just random nicknames when I worked at McDonald's. That was ages ago. <laughs> uh, like, some guys started calling me Sugarfoot. I never really got, like, good reason why to that. But, whatever. Nicknames. Anyway, um, that's all for this haul. I do have, like, this box I just got from Fat Ace. I got, like, a, a UV cleaner. You can clean electronics and stuff off with. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a like a separate video like reviewing it probably. So I'm just gonna leave that one be for now. <laughs> anyway, subscribe if you want. I post random shit.